So we took a bit of a break yesterday from hunting for True Moose, and we actually got our 30-odd-6 diamond. But today I thought we'd get back at it, and we're kind of doing a 2-in-1 here. I checked like 4 or 5 days ago, and for the most part, from what I could tell, grizzlies actually tend to rest quite close to the water. So we still need a diamond grizzly bear, we still need a diamond True Moose. I thought maybe we could kind of hunt for them both. We'll kind of see how that goes. That was a decent looking paddle. That'll be a good start. Got our Kinchak down right there, and I think I gotta run some distance to go around, so we'll try to get this guy too. Looks like that got him to actually come out of his zone, so I'll stick with the 300. I've just done better with it, and I know I saw it was a female, but there was a bear resting up there, so you can see my point. They're actually pretty close to the water as long as we kind of pay attention. We ought to be able to find them. Now, how do I actually get over there? That was just about an entire journey just to get over here, but we are good, so we'll be able to get the full score out of that nice four over there. Not bad. One of the better ones I've had off the Yukon. Most of the moose I've had on the Yukon are a bit smaller, but also I do have my, my biggest one so far off the Yukon, so go figure. It's definitely nice to just, like, hunt the map at a different time though you get more zones you see animals that usually you don't see somehow you make drop shots that you didn't expect to be drop shots i don't know how i did that huh spinal cord and he was even a gold not bad my point was though i found like five or six new zones already just running this and we're barely started dude what is this duck doing i think i broke it I don't even know if I can hit it the way it's flying around like that. That'll work. Caught it. Well, not very smart one for a gold, but anyway. That was kind of dumb luck that I found this guy. I was chasing bears over here and they ended up being kind of small. I heard like a male warning call and it wasn't downwind, so... I thought I should check because I think bears are one of the species that warning calls mean the least like a lot of times if you hear a warning call you can kind of expect it to be a smaller animal usually the big ones don't it doesn't mean they won't but it's less likely but i feel like most bears will warning call because they kind of automatically in that alert stand stand up on their hind legs so those i tend to check that's actually decent and i think they're all unbugged now we'll take that guy for the road might actually be the first caribou I've shot uh, since the uh, the whole update that had them scoring over a thousand. Have I had one like that before? Like it's got a little bit of sort of palmation happening down here. I can't remember ever seeing one like that. I'm going to mount it and maybe compare it to other ones because I know I have others with that rack shape uh, taxidermized somewhere. That was just a silver. I don't know if this rack shape can really make gold anymore. I know it used to be able to. But that was, what, 485 kilos, so the weight still matches up about the same. Hello. I mean, that's not what I'm here for, but we'll try to get it. We kind of got to the end of Moose drink time, so I thought I'd reset back and... The grizzly bear idea was, like, I mean, it was good. We were finding a lot of zones, but not enough grizzly bears to make it worth my time. And I kind of was just remembering this, like, swampy area up here. When I first was hunting the map, I kind of just happened to be going through here to get the lodges during moose drink time, and there were a lot of moose. So I thought we might as well give it a shot. That's kind of useful, you're just coming right over here. We'll just stop you there though. So that's a nice find. Definitely worth coming up here already. Don't know what lodge that's going to end up in. Try to find somewhere. Ooh. Oh, baby. That looks pretty much just like the, uh, the original Legacy Racks. And that might be a really good sign. I've seen a good number of level 5 moose not make diamond. I've also seen a lot of these fives have just, like, gigantic brow tines. So I don't know if this is actually, like, a smaller shape. Because he doesn't have the huge brow tines. But, that's the first five I've seen, so, honestly, the wind's not bad. And like I said, I just reset the time for them, so, we're good. 
we're just gonna kind of sneak over here. I don't know if that's gonna be in my way. But hopefully we can get like a nice, I don't know, 100 meter broadside shot and just send a 300 polymer tip round right through. I think we ought to be good as long as he doesn't step forward. She'll be pretty much clear. Dude, I like that. He's got a little more of a bowl shape. Like, it, it dips a little more. I think it does look really, really good. As long as we can uh, get a decent shot here. Something. Bison or whatever is walking right up at us. But I think this is going to be the angle. That's kind of cool. Shooting through there as well. So I'm going to 0 for 75. So I don't accidentally spinal cord shot him. And uh, if I can get him spotted again. Well, I guess I can't. Just gotta hope that's good, because I can't spot him and no. But I want to can check anyway. Just because, like I said, I reset the time. We did just shoot the bison, but can't be too careful. There's the female. Pretty much like halfway done tracking him. She ran exactly the direction he went, so that kind of worked out. He's down there, so I think we're good. Like, I hit him just beyond that disturbed veg. Hopefully we're all right. It doesn't look like he landed any kind of decent for a really good screenshot, so... Like I always say, there's trophy lodges for that. So, we're good. Stomp this down and get something anyhow. I remember TK shot one on the reveal stream, and it didn't have the giant brow tines and scored 999, so... We'll see. First level 5, True Moose. Is a gold at 590. <laughs> Man. He's definitely low trophy rating. 947. Dang. He's got, like, this is pretty much the exact old legacy rack. And this is a little bit different. It's got, like, the tines up here. That's still the best I've shot and the best looking one I've shot. But I was pretty convinced. Nearly 591. Man. Gotta be even bigger than that just to make diamond now. Oh, yeah. There's that, um, I don't know if it was Leucistic or Albino, but we saw this on the the stream on Monday. And I didn't end up killing it. I kind of thought I'd go for, like, a, a last-ditch effort here. Because we shot at this lake. I think he was 924. And all the hunting pressure's cleared, so... Maybe there's a respawn. <laughs> it's kind of disappointing to have that 5 go 947. So, I thought I'd give that a shot since I know there was a big one there. But I totally forgot that this was up here. And it looks like I alerted some of the herd anyway. Or are they just leaving? That one's alert. Looks albino. I hope I did Okay. I thought I might have caught like the end of her nose so it wouldn't penetrate back to lungs, but we're good. Not bad, anyway. Through the shoulder blade and into single lung still. Pretty decent. Doesn't look like we got a respawn, so... We'll actually go ahead and take the one initially that we were going to shoot on the stream until that other one trotted back in. But I came from a different angle this time, so I don't think I would have spooked anything that I couldn't see. Pretty sure we just have no new spawn. So ending with a decent goal, anyway. 851 for him, and we do have a lodge trip to make, because that actually is still by far the best one I've shot, even though he didn't quite make diamond. We'll have to kind of switch things around a bit. That guy will come down. And now we have that. Still looks good, and I like the fact that he's not perfectly symmetrical. Got a little bit of uh, difference happening there. And then we need that one. We'll keep in here, so yeah. Like I said, still made a pretty big improvement. I'm kind of happy he didn't make diamond. I mean, obviously I wanted him to, but they've been out for six days, so I think it's nice that it's not, like, already over as far as trying to find one, so we still have something to kind of look forward to. But anyway, that is going to wrap up this one, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.